just before taking the dais, Hillary accidentally bumped into me, and she very civilly said, pardon me. <laughs> this is the first time ever, ever, that Hillary is sitting down and speaking to major corporate leaders and not getting paid for it. It's true. It's true. You know, the president told me to stop whining. But I really have to say, the media is even more biased this year than ever before. Ever. You want the proof? Michelle Obama gives a speech, and everyone loves it. It's fantastic. They think she's absolutely great. My wife, Melania, gives the exact same speech. And people get on her case. And I don't get it. This is such a special event that I took a break from my rigorous nap schedule to be here. And as you've already heard, it's a treat for all of you, too, because usually I charge a lot for speeches like this. Donald, if at any time you don't like what I'm saying, feel free to stand up and shout wrong while I'm talking. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, it's amazing I'm up here after Donald. I didn't think he'd be okay with a peaceful transition of power. <laughs> Looking back, I've had to listen to Donald for three full debates. And he says, I don't have any stamina. <laughs> that is four and a half hours. I have now stood next to Donald Trump longer than any of his campaign managers. <laughs> so tonight, let's embrace the spirit of the evening. Let's come together, remember what unites us, and just rip on Ted Cruz.